Hampton illness has a number of East Tennessee school districts closing or going remote ahead of the holiday. Claiborne County Schools learning online today and tomorrow because too many students and staff are sick. Jefferson County, Morgan County Schools are closed until after the Thanksgiving break for the very same reason. Well, it seems like there has been so much sickness in the last few weeks. Knox County Schools says they are not exempt. Yeah, the district seeing illness across the board, but they don't have plans to close at this point. Here's our Kristen Allen. Right now, seasonal illness is hitting East Tennessee school districts hard. You never know and you can't predict illness how those things go. In Knox County, sickness is hitting everyone from students to teachers. It's hit or miss. You know, sometimes it's students, sometimes it's teachers, sometimes it's subs, um, sometimes it's principals, you know, but we just adapt and roll. That's that's what we do in education, right? We take the, the hits and we keep on rolling. My own child was sick last week. She's at Hardin Valley Middle School. And so when I went to go check her out, I did notice a lot of names on the checkout register and all the reasons were illness. With nearby school districts, moving to virtual learning or closing altogether. Knox County School Superintendent Dr. John Ryswick says KCS is not to that point yet. Our number one uh, thing is for them to learn and so uh, we'll monitor that uh, but, to, but to date we haven't gotten to a critical place for that. That, needs to be, that decision needs to be made yet. During the pandemic, KCS had the ability to take a look at sickness on a school by school basis but now illness is evaluated district wide. And district wide the numbers overall are pretty good. So it does seem to be in pockets of communities with illness. Dr. Ryswick says attendance in both students and staff is improving, but they're continuing to monitor it during this flu season. Uh, Safety is our number one concern, whether whether it's inclement weather or illness, those kinds of things that happen. And uh, so we, we do track that daily. We track both student and staff attendance, uh, looking at those and looking for kind of impact on that. In Knoxville, Kristen Allen, WVLT News. Knox County Schools, they get two virtual days and eight bad weather days that they can use for sickness, but the superintendent says they're focused on keeping kids in school right now.